Hey guys, another vlog. I'm going to be answering this email here. Well, it was actually it was sent to me on the uh, YouTube comment, so I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to try to read it out, and uh, we'll just jump into it. I may skip some sentences. All right. I see you have a psychology background, and I have a question that maybe only you can answer. So I appreciate if you do, because I have one, I have no one else to ask. I know nothing about coding, but I want to. A couple of months ago, I started teaching myself more like start preparing for programming courses, kind of like university courses. It seems so hard to me that I quit after the first month. Very common, by the way. I thought I was stupid, so I went to see a psychologist to perform an IQ test. It turns out that I wasn't a moron, but I have a, a dyscalculia. <laughs> Hope you know it. I have dyscalculia. It's ability, uh, difficulty with math, if I recall. I also seem to have some kind of attention deficit, but that's my guess. I also make stupid mistakes at work. I work at a reception with invoices and bills and stuff. I read an article from a guy with dyscalculia and ADHD who was a programmer, and after he got ADHD drug prescription, he started to learn faster and made less mistakes. Sorry for the long message. Question is, do you think if I take some ADHD pills, I'd be able to learn coding faster and be a good programmer? Because I have a feeling that I'd suck at it. Sorry for the question, but I'm desperate. All right, so I'm going to answer these questions. Uh, let me just start off by saying, my opinion vis-a-vis -vis the psychology is really an amateur opinion. I want to be clear. I studied psychology in university. That was my major, but I never completed the degree because I left early to pursue and push my business. So that said, I do have some background, but I'm hardly a trained psychologist, so take it for what it is. It's my opinion based on life experiences with a bit of a psych background. Emphasize a bit. So I continue. That said, I would be very, very reluctant to take any drugs. My suggestion is as follows. You don't want to take drugs unless you absolutely have to and only for short-term pain because you don't want to become dependent on any substances, whether it be drugs, food, alcohol, sex, training. You want to remember the old Chinese principle of the balance of yin and yang. Not too much, not too little, not too much exercise, not too, much ex not too little exercise, not too much food, not too little. Uh, don't take drugs. Uh, eat healthy. Much better than taking drugs. And, you know, again, I'm not a medical doctor, blah, 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 but people jump too quick to take the pill. Uh, it could be a dangerous road. That's why we got all these people addicted to prescription painkillers. Not a good thing to be in. All right, so here are my um, responses. Three bullet points. Remember that we all make lots of mistakes when learning to code. I'm one of them. It is normal that you will feel, hit roadblocks. You will feel frustration. Things will not sink in right away. You see, when you're learning to code, well, I'll just read this here. I personally still mess up basic loops from time to time. It's just, I have this weird brain freeze that happens, brain freeze, as in frozen, that happens, but something as simple as that. So don't worry about it if you're hitting these uh, roadblocks. That's normal, especially in the beginning because you're, uh, you're doing something new. You're literally rewiring your brain to, to work in a different way when you're learning how to code for the first time. So point number two, try to relax as much, as much as possible. And remember, if you don't get it today, you don't get it tomorrow or even a week from today. Eventually you'll get it. And guess what? Whether it took you a week or a month, nobody's going to care how long it took you to get there. See, it's like, think of it like, uh, I don't know, climbing a mountain. You know, you did it in 10 hours or two hours, whatever. Once you're there, you're there. That's the great thing about learning how to code, learning programming. Once you've learned it, once you understand it, once you've crossed that bridge, once you've you know, broken through those barriers, pick any other cliche you want to pick, all of a sudden it's, it's your knowledge, it's your skills. It can never go away. Yeah, you forget little details here and there, but you can remember those very quickly. That's why God invented Google. Because 
the details are irrelevant. It's the core foundation understanding and conceptual understanding of that matter. And if you forget a particular some syntax, you forget some particular method or how to do it in Python or Java, PHP or Java, so whatever, you just go to Google and you get the answer like this, no problem. I have written software in nine languages over the years and I'll mix up stuff, say, yeah, yeah, we do, but, but, oh no, that's Java, it's not Python, right? So, but it doesn't matter because I understand programming, I understand Python, and I'll forget little specifics here and there. That's not important. So let me continue. So once you're there, you are there. So once you understand what a function is, you can't really unlearn it, right? You know what a function is, you understand the point of a function, when to use it, why to use it. This is not, that's not something you can unlearn. So it doesn't matter if it takes you two weeks to learn it, or a month, doesn't matter. So just take your time, do a little every day. You want to expose your brain to this new knowledge, this new way of thinking every day. And you do that, you're going to be training your brain that it needs to adapt for this new type of thinking. And that comes from frequency of exposure. Even if it's just a little bit every day, even if it's just 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day, it's going to do wonders in terms of giving the signals to your brain that it has to adapt to this new type of knowledge. I hope that makes sense. Because when you are learning something new, especially something like programming, you're literally creating new neural connections in your brain. You're literally restructuring your brain slowly. So as you learn, drink lots of water, get lots of rest. If you're feeling tired along the way, you're feeling a little restless or you're getting headaches, oof, that's your brain say, I had enough for today. And don't Think about coding, take a break, take a day off, two days off, whatever, until you're relaxed again and do some exercise. I'm telling you, healthy body makes for healthy mind and vice versa. So again, it's about consistent exposure to coding so that your brain adapts and learns. And you're going to see it's going to start off slow, it's going to start off slow, and all of a sudden you're going to start learning very quickly. You'd be surprised at how... It begins to ramp. May take you a month, may take you three months, may take you three weeks. Depends on you, but it will come. So one of the reasons why this guy's upset, he's been having trouble with code courses. I'm gonna say it, many code courses suck. And why do they suck? Because most of the nerds teaching the code, they have no teaching skills. Learning to code from a nerd who's never taught is like learning, is like trying to listen to somebody play a song on a guitar who doesn't know how to play it's going to be a mess, right? So I can tell you how many times I've heard from students who face the same problems as this guy. They try to the code courses, they don't understand, it didn't make any sense, it was a headache. Then they do a course taught by somebody who actually knows how to teach, and all of a sudden it all makes sense. It all makes sense. That's pretty much it. To summarize, I wouldn't take the drugs. I think you're just dealing with the same anxieties, the same uh, initial barriers that most people deal with when they're first learning how to code. And you just gotta be patient with yourself, expose your brain every day, expose your mind every day to a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, write code, you gotta write code, you gotta write code. That's why in the Studio Web, my app, we got 300 video lessons, we got over a thousand code challenges and quiz questions. Nobody else does that. And this is done this way, because I want you to continuously be interacting with the content, whether you're answering questions in terms of concepts or writing code. And this constant experience, a thousand times, it's going to help you absorb this information so much more quickly. Why don't other people do it? Because most of the code courses out there are designed by people who never taught before. They don't understand teaching. They don't have a background in teaching. And because it's hard. <laughs> My code challenges have about 25,000 words. To put in perspective, my book on web design, I wrote this 224 page book, there we go. This has about 30,000 words. The quizzing component to Studio Web for the foundation courses has about 25,000 words, something like that. I forget the last count because I made adjustments over time. So you got a book of quizzing along with the 300 video lessons which takes advantage of my knowledge of how the brain works, the psychology background, the teaching, etc. So you're slowly every day exposing your brain to this stuff, writing code, viewing a video, writing code, answering some quiz questions related to content. 
that's how you're going to learn very quickly. So give yourself time, daily exposure, take breaks, drink water, don't take drugs, and you'll get there. And it doesn't matter if it takes you an extra month to learn or two months to learn. It doesn't matter because once you're very aware, nobody's going to care if it took you one month or six months to learn this stuff. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.